Facing a battle from Democrats and some Republicans, President Trump has unveiled his plan, if it can be called that, to reform legal immigration and border security. It's been, being, it's been sold as merit-based, giving preference to the high-skilled and educated. However, it's short on details, and that is putting it mildly. The White House says they intentionally left out the things that were too divisive. Now, keep in mind, the whole issue is divisive in no small part due to this White House. So in this new plan, for instance, there's no mention of DACA, the program for undocumented immigrants who came to the country as children, nicknamed Dreamers. There seems to be no mention of family separations either. Here's White House Press Secretary Sarah Sanders this morning talking about why those things, which are pretty major things, were left out. Sarah. This is a serious immigration program. Why not address the issues of DACA, of family separation? Well, because by. it's a serious program, it's not included. Every single time uh, that we have put forward or anyone else has put forward any type of immigration plan and it's included DACA, it's failed. That's a divisive thing. I'm not even sure what that means. Because it's a serious plan, they didn't address those serious issues. Anyway. Moving on, the plan was so short on details that many lawmakers, including Republicans, said they don't even consider it a real, legitimate proposal from the White House. Republican Senator Susan Collins, she couldn't support it, and even the president's friend, Senator Lindsey Graham, said the plan was, quote, not designed to become law, unquote. So what is it designed for? Because before today, this was all supposed to be easy if the Democrats would only just play ball. We have a crisis at the border, both a national security and a humanitarian crisis. Democrats have got to stop ignoring the problem. Sit down with the president at the table. The time has come for the Democrats to come to the table and start negotiating. I think if the Democrats have those type of concerns, then they should sit down at the table and negotiate with the president. Time for Democrats uh, to work with us and fix this problem. Look, it's time for Congress to come to the table. It's time for them to come to the table and work with us. It seems like a talking point. But after today, what are they supposed to do to actually work on? That isn't even clear. Earlier tonight, I asked Democratic Congresswoman Kathleen Rice, who's a member of the Homeland Security Committee, what she thought of the president's plan. Congresswoman Rice, I wonder, what did you make of the president's speech today? Was there anything in there that, that you could get behind? Uh, not likely, Anderson. I mean, I come from a district in New York that has a total of about 10,000 DACA recipients and TPS holders. So uh, it doesn't even address that issue. So I think it's going to be a non-starter for someone like me. That's just in my district. But, but looking at the larger issue, if you're going to really try to address the issue of immigration, you need input from both uh, Republicans and Democrats. I don't think they got input from anyone. Uh, certainly not anyone on the Democratic side, and not even any Republicans. This was a plan that was hatched by uh, the president's son-in-law, Jared Kushner, who, to my knowledge, has no uh, background expertise on immigration, and by Stephen Miller. And we know uh, that he was the architect of the family separation policy along with Jeff Sessions. So um, there really was nothing uh, that, that from which we could start, I don't think. It, it is interesting that DACA was not even mentioned. I mean, the president, remember, he held that uh, bipartisan meeting uh, one time in the White House, and he seemed to be siding at first with Democrats saying that, you know, he wanted comprehensive immigration reform, and then he was reminded by Republicans that that's not really a term that he's supposed to be using because it has a different connotation that he perhaps understands. But to not include DACA in any speech, obviously, it's going to be a non-starter for Democrats. They've made it clear that DACA has to be part of comprehensive immigration reform. Yeah, and you know, Trump talked about that very early on, as you mentioned, and we came very close on the floor with coming up with our own resolution on the DACA issue. But he's got to deal with the far right members of his party who have said, no way, under no circumstances, can we allow a path for, to citizenship for DACA recipients. And I, I just think that's crazy. I mean, you know, these are people who have been here, who were brought here when they were children, who are contributing to their society, their community. And these are the kind of people we want to keep here. Um, so, I, you know, I, I think it's going to be a very difficult sell, not just for Democrats to get Democrats on board, but also there are a lot of Republicans who want to address the DACA issue as well. In terms of this proposed shift toward uh, what the president's referring to as a merit-based system, the, you know, you read the Emma Lazarus quote on the Statue of Liberty, and it's, you know, give me your tired, your poor, your huddled masses. It doesn't say, 
you're educated, you're wealthy, you're English-speaking masses. Yeah, I mean, Anderson, I, I'm here because my father's father came here when he was 12 years old. He was not skilled at all, um, and he built a life here. And so what he is saying is, to, to forget about what he's saying about families. Like, if you're an individual who wants to come here and make a better life for yourself, you're, according to this plan, you're going to have to do it by yourself here and leave the rest of your family, whether it's your wife, your children, your mother, your father, your cousins, all back home. I mean, he puts no value whatsoever on keeping family units together. And we know that immigrant families have been coming here and built this country into the greatness that it is. Um, forget about that. And to say that you have to be able to speak English, I mean, there are some people in that Trump knows himself that didn't know English when they came here. Um, so I think that's kind of crazy uh, to, to make it, and, and when you say merit-based, uh, I, I just think that that's uh, forgetting about how important it is to make sure that we allow a diverse group of people come here through our immigration system. We need that kind of diversity. It is what America is based on. It's what has made this country so great. And his plan today would completely do away with that. And just lastly, I guess the question is, if this proposal doesn't satisfy what Democrats want out of immigration reform and doesn't really satisfy what Republicans want out of immigration reform, what was the point? Well, I, I can tell you what the point was. As I was listening to it, I thought, wow, this would really be a great political ad. Uh, and that basically, at the end of the day, is what he said. Look, if we don't, if I can't get this passed, let's win. And, and I'm not really serious about this. I'm just saying this because all I've done for the last four years is talk about immigration, immigration, immigration. So I'm just going to put this out there, knowing that it's not going to go anywhere, not because it's not going to get any Democratic support, although it won't, but it's not going to get a lot of Republican support either. And we'll just forget that. And we'll, we'll take care of this after the 2020 election. So for all intents and purposes, that really was what it was. It was a political ad in the Rose Garden of the White House, yeah. I might add. Congresswoman Rice, I appreciate your time. Thank you. Thanks, Anderson.